Okay, so this is the Magic Box 2.0. Uh, brand new, I just ripped the plastic a second ago just because I'm gonna be doing this um, kind of on the fly. So this is a brand new Magic Box 2.0. This is what you will get um, upon arrival. And I'm gonna set this camera down real quick and hopefully the angle's too good or good enough. So I'm gonna rip this open and we're gonna walk through a first time customer experience just as you would. So brand new Magic Box 2.0. It's gonna come with this nice exterior sleeve. You can just throw that off to the side. Then within the box, get this guy open. All right, you probably got here by scanning something like this, our activation or QR tutorials. Yours may look slightly different, but it's besides the point. Um, you'll get that. And then you'll have the device in here. So let's just grab this device and I'm just gonna put it off to the side while I go through the rest of the uh, components. You can pull this out and this is where you're gonna get the quick start guide and the cables, right? So for your convenience, we include a USB-A to USB-C, which is this one, and then also a USB-C to USB-C, right? So however you typically connect to CarPlay um, is the core that you're gonna use. So if you typically connect um, you know, your phone and into that port is a, um, a USB port, or sorry, a USB-A, you'll use the USB-A into the same CarPlay port that you use with your phone, and then instead of plugging in your phone, you'll plug in the Magic Box 2.0. So let's throw this plastic off. All right, we'll set that aside. Cool, so now that we have the uh, Magic Box 2.0 right here, brand new, um, let's get this thing set up. So I'm just gonna set this aside real quick um, and get the cable set up. So keep in mind that my device or my head unit is an aftermarket. So this works with any wired CarPlay connection. Mine just has this funny little cord. So I get CarPlay that way because um, it's an aftermarket head unit. So just keep that in mind when I'm going through these videos. If you have a Ford or a Chevy or anything like that with factory CarPlay, then you are all good. So grabbing the USB-A cable, put this guy down here. So you can see um, the USB-A right here going into the CarPlay port that I would typically use with my phone. And then on the other side, USB-C. So we're now we're gonna grab our Magic Box 2.0 device. And then if you flip it around, you'll see the two ports over here. So just put the USB-A into the USB-A of the Magic Box um, 2.0. You'll see the lights fire up here. And I'll kind of zoom out so you can see both at the same time. So we've got a flashing blue. And then by default, you'll get an animation similar to this upon startup. Uh, the first time typically takes a little bit longer than the other times. Your animation screen may be slightly different. We do change it from time to time. Um, and then you get dropped right into the magic box. So keep in mind this is first time boot up. So we've just basically taken the device out of the box. We're gonna accept this warning that we will not watch videos while driving. And you're gonna end up in a screen just like this. Apologies for the glare. Um, so this is the Magic Box streaming home screen. Yours may look a little bit different. Like I said, we push updates. Um, and we have you know revised home screens that are for your guys' convenience, but generally it's gonna be laid out like this, right? Um, so that's just getting the box connected to your car. You can follow along our YouTube playlist for other videos on getting it connected to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection, CarPlay, Android Auto, downloading apps, all those other ones are available in our YouTube playlist. This one was strictly about getting the new Magic Box 2.0 
um, straight out the box connected. So yeah, that's how you get it connected first time.